students today, we designed the trebuchet. We had a, a smaller uh, project going our catapult golf, and our kids took it from that and wanted to know if we could do something much larger. And uh, I was a little nervous about it, but one of our administrators said it would be a great idea. So um, within about 30 minutes of the time that we came up with the idea, everybody I was on board with our construction and welding program so that we could build it. And um, three weeks later, here we are, you know, launching pumpkins. Well, my students were involved with everything. I mean, I, we had some veto power, so we could tell them, no, that's not going to work, that's not safe. But other than that, they made all the decisions from the material to sizes to when. Um, we kind of put the deadline and we picked it and said, hey, Halloween's coming, that'd be the perfect date. But other than the date, uh, they were responsible for the timelines of getting everything out to the shop. And uh, we just kind of stand back and watch them, watch them work. We learned a lot. It wasn't real concrete learning. A lot of it was more abstract, such as teamwork and communicating with each other. That was the biggest thing, is you'd always write something down and then realize they don't know exactly what you're talking about. So a lot of abstract learning, but it helped me a lot. Well, a lot of it was in class discussion, and we'd kind of talk about what he really wanted. I thought he would steer us towards the safest ideas, and they said, now go off and perfect it, make it better. And then it was a lot of class work, but then we ended up choosing mine for most of it. I think a lot of it was I was the first one done with it, too. It's just centrifugal force will send the weight box down, throwing the sling over, and then just launches it. It, it took us about two weeks of engineering time to come up with the idea, and at the same time we were learning some new software, uh, Inventor, which is a 3D modeling program, so that was kind of a what we were using this project too is to learn how to do some modeling and at the same time we had to use some of our math engineering skills to design or do some predictions of how far the pumpkins were going, how big to make everything. Um, and then we passed it off to construction. It took them about four days uh, along with welding and they were working simultaneously. And then we, um, you know, we spent about a week targeting this guy in, you know, and the thing today without the wind that we've been dealing with the last couple of days, so we were a little surprised and some of our distances with weights and heights, so a few surprises that the pumpkins fly a little different than our test weight that we were using. Yeah, originally we wanted to go farther, but we realized it wasn't, I don't really know how you would word that, but it wasn't realistic just to send it 400 feet without the amount of weight we could use safely. It's satisfaction, a lot of satisfaction in there, knowing that I had a big part in it.